she defiantly revealed her daughter's prefers to travel by private jet despite coming under fire following the first episode of Tamara's World for Sophia's luxury lifestyle. But Tamara Eccleston, who is estimated to be worth herself $232 million, confessed her guilty pleasure is to shop at Poundland in a recent interview with Heat magazine The Heiress. 33 revealed her love for the budget store and its American competitor Costco as she questioned, why would you not want a bargain? Scroll down for video daughter of a billionaire Tamara used to pop into Poundland after her plush pampering session when she got her nails done there. Was a Poundland where I used to get my nails done. I just used to go in and buy random stuff which I love doing, she told the glossy publication Free Things. A pound and it's stuff I don't need. I'm spending money what I don't need to because I think I'm getting a bargain it. Came after the glamorous beauty remained defined in the face of the backlash she faced for her expensive lifestyle. Along with admitting that Todd has never flown economy, Tamara also spoke candidly of her relationship with husband Jay Rutland, 36, confessing that she wasn't even that into him ahead of their blind date. Speaking to Heat about their privileged life, Tamara who lives in a 70 million 57 room home in Kensington with husband of four years Jay and Sophia, appeared unfazed by some of the backlash she has found herself subject to recently. Of her daughter, she admitted, no she hasn't ever traveled economy. Her favorite way to travel is by private jet with a happy meal. It really is a beautiful life field though. The beauty did admit that being rich isn't all plain sailing and can come with its difficulties, especially as she likes to give people the benefit of the doubt with Tamara having her trust broken on multiple occasions in past relationships. But having found her happily ever after, Tamara, who was at the center of a blackmail plot in 2013 when her ex Derek Rose tried to extort her of 200, oh, revealed. I met Jay, but there were tons of bad relationships before that speaking about her first meeting with Jay, who she married in 2013 before they welcomed daughter Sophia in 2014, Tamara admitted that she wasn't that into her beau at first date. Seen a picture and I wasn't that into him. I was like no, 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 but then we met and he was so much more handsome in real life and so funny and he was really charming, she gushed it ha takes the pee out of me all the time. We have a really fun relationship and he isn't scared to tell me what he thinks. He also makes sure I don't spoil Fifi too much, but it's hard. Tamara is the daughter of billionaire Bernie, the former chief executive of Formula One. His involvement in the sport is thought to have resulted in an estimated fortune of $2.5 billion. And it seems her little girl Sophia may be the luckiest girl in the UK as her luxurious lifestyle has been revealed on Tamara's new reality show. Tamara's world it led to viewers branding the excessive way she lives her life is vulgar and disgusting, thanks to scenes including Tamara revealing she had turned a swimming pool into a ball pit for Sophia. A source told Mail Online that the couple spent an estimated 50 oh on the lavish area, which they've constructed with a view to repurposing at a later dot was her old swimming pool that they didn't use, so Tamara decided to turn it into a soft play area as Fifi loves it, explained the source. She's always in there with Petra's kids. If they want to turn it back into a pool, they can in the Futuritos. Watching were left flabbergasted after catching a glimpse of Tamara's 5 million closet that included 37 pairs of Chanel espadrilles and 81 sets of Victoria's Secret pajamas. The mother of one was then seen promoting her reality series during an appearance on Loose Women, but was inundated with criticism regarding her outlook. As viewers penned in response, who the FK is Tamara Eccleston? Tamara Eccleston you have a rich dad and FK all talent. What a spoiled princess Tamara Eccleston is. I'm not on the breadline but I find Tamara Eccleston's need to broadcast her distasteful, over-the-top lifestyle offensive. Loose Women Another added, Tamara Eccleston is vulgar Tamara, however, defended her lifestyle during her live interview on the ITV panel show and insisted, it might seem extreme but it's my life ish. Claimed that agreeing to the reality series had been a big decision, but something she couldn't be more thrilled about it. Was definitely a big decision, something Jay and I talked about a lot, she shared.
Looking back at the show we did when she was three months old. One hour special. Most amazing memories of her and she's changed so moo kids. Like the fanciest home video. So we thought we were in such a happy place. She's an amazing little girl. Very open with our lives. She loved the process. She was the star of the show with Amara. Was supported by husband Jay who had jumped to her defense on Instagram. After the beauty found herself trolled by users of the photo sharing site following the first episode of their show airing. Responding to one hater that had criticized his wife and their family life. Jay hit back. I think you'll just find our reality is different from yours because if you're saying your reality is what we should judge by, then by that standard you would be detached from reality for someone starving in Africa. It's all relative. -y. Then added to another more fierce troll who claimed he had only married Tamara for her wealth. Jealousy is a terrible disease Hermano. Get well soon. First episode of Tamara's World aired on ITVBE with 0.2 million viewers and a 0.8% share, making it the second biggest launch of 2017 for the channel. The impressive figure marks nearly double the year-to-date slot average. In the debut episode of her documentary, Inside the Life of an Heiress, the mother of one detailed the running of her 70 million mansion which hosts more than 50 staff as well as a sprawling playroom for her daughter, complete with a life-size doll's house and even her own ice palace. The clip gave a glimpse into the lavish London home Tamara shares with Jay, where a number of servants clad in black were seen cleaning various spots in the house, including a huge dining room, extensive walk-in wardrobe and a luxurious bathroom, complete with gold bath. While the extensive household duties are carried out, Tamara was instead seen sweetly coloring with three-year-old Sophia in her pink and cream playroom. Far from an ordinary child's play area however, an endless string of toys could be seen in the sprawling room, including a life-size doll's house and a number of rocking horses, as well as a towering frozen ice palace and a personal desk for coloring. Proving to be a close family however, a number of photos of the trio also line the fireplace in the room. Tamara's two personal assistants were then seen going through her busy day, which involves a number of beauty appointments as well as a fitness class. Tamara went on to reveal she and Sophia have a number of personal butlers and housekeepers who keep the house presentable and make sure all the clothes are ironed and put away. She also gushed of her amazing private chef Jonah and her own personal dog walker and laughs of their pets. I'm not sure why we have nine or ten dogs. Further clips gave insight into the family's sun-soaked holidays as well as the mother and daughter duo's days spent baking and playing together at home. While endless staff members were seen tending to the house in the footage, Tamara admitted the 57-room pad is just as comfortable as a normal home yet. Still feels homely despite there being so many people, she added. Tamara and Jay bought their Kensington home for $45 million back in 2011, but it is believed to have doubled in value. Tamara herself is thought to have an estimated net worth of $232 million herself and spent $7 million on her wedding to Jay in 2013. The pair said I do in front of 150 guests at the French Riviera's most luxurious hotel with Tamara dressed in a couture vera wine gown complete with 30 feet train and crystals on the bodice. She took her first dance as Mrs. Rutland to a cover of Lyle Richie's Endless Love performed live by Mariah Carey hired for 2.5 million. Sir Elton John also played an hour-long set dedicating his song Circle of Life from the soundtrack to Disney film The Lion King to the happy couple. It is thought the singer was paid 1 million to attend. While she embarks on a number of her own fashion projects, Tamara is a full-time doting mother to her daughter Sophia, who she welcomed in March 2014.